prostitution and arson, just some of the problems seen in and around these abandoned buildings in southwest Detroit. They're problems Rachel Cruz doesn't want her six children to see. We have to have our kids go somewhere else to play. We take them out differently, out the neighborhood, so they don't have to look at this stuff. But today she has reason to smile. Bulldozers knocked down five abandoned buildings here at Ellesmere and Mason Place. It's all part of the city's effort to clean up blight. Over the next 90 days, the city will tear down about 1,500 other buildings. Detroit Mayor Dave Bing says what you see here is just the beginning. He says this community alone has identified 158 structures that need to come down in this neighborhood. We come into a neighborhood and we think we know what we're doing, but once the people tell us the buildings that are the most dangerous, where there's all kinds of different activities, Activity going on are the ones that we're going to uh, concentrate on. So having that involvement is very crucial. After the debris is moved out of here in 30 days, that's when organizations like Greening of Detroit will help transform these spaces. Students with the Green Corps program will plant trees, grass, and flowers. Help clean up and like plant plant better trees, make the neighborhood look better. Feels good. Yes, it feels amazing. An amazing feeling shared by Rachel Cruz. People have respect for where they live, you know, self-pride in the neighborhood. In southwest Detroit, a new Prakash 7 Action News.